Now we will consider one more interesting problem on projectile motion. Uh, but the beauty of this problem is it involves differentiation. I hope you all uh, recollect that whenever you differentiate the position vector, you always get the velocity. Right? Rate of change of position vector is nothing but the velocity. So here you are required to use that concept to understand the problem. Okay, let me read it once. The height y and the distance x along the horizontal plane of a projectile on a certain planet with no atmosphere are y equal to 8 t minus 5 t square and x equal to 6 t meters and t is in seconds. Find the initial velocity of the projectile. Options given are 6, 8, 10 and 14 meters per second. Right? So that is the question. Now, he says it is a certain planet. So he has not at all told you which planet it is. So we do not know the acceleration due to gravity there. That is one thing. And secondly, the way in which the y coordinate of the particle and the x coordinate of the particle are changing with time have been expressed in terms of some functions. So, if you differentiate y with respect to t, you are going to get the velocity in the y direction. And if you differentiate x with respect to t, you will get velocity in the x direction. So, let me do that. So, y is expressed here. Let me differentiate with respect to t to get dy by dt as 8 minus 10 t. And if you differentiate x with respect to t, you will get dx by dt equal to 6. So, you can see the fun here. He had not told you what exactly is the planet, right? But by differentiating the x component with respect to time, you could see that it is constant, which means there is no acceleration due to gravity in the horizontal direction as it happens in our uh, case of the earth also. Okay, so because he is talking about the initial velocity of the projectile, you are supposed to substitute t is equal to 0 in the expression for y. So you get dy by dt at t equal to 0 as 8 and dx by dt of course is constant which is equal to 6. That makes the initial speed of the projectile as under root of 6 square plus 8 square which is nothing but 64 plus 36 which is nothing but 100 and root of 100 will make it 10 meters per second. So, among the option given there c is the correct option and that is 10 meters per second. So, we will take one very, very simple problem on projectile motion. It is just a substitution type of uh, problem wherein if you know the formula, you can substitute the data given in the problem and get the answer. Let me read it. A stone is thrown at a speed of 30 meters per second at an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal. What is the maximum height attained? I hope you agree. It is just a substitution type of problem. Write the formula, substitute the values given, get the answer. So, the formula for the maximum height attained that is h is u square sin square theta divided by 2g which is equal to 30 square sin square 45 divided by 2g has been given to be 10 meter per second square and that makes it 900 into 1 by 2 sin 45 is 1 by root 2 square of that is going to be 1 by 2 and moreover divided by 20. So, which is 900 divided by 40 and that is 4 twos are 8, 4 twos are 8 again sorry 4 1 4 twos are 8 right. So, then you get 0 0.45 is at 20. So, 22.5 meters right and that makes B option perfectly correct. B is perfectly correct. So, another area from where I think the problems come up in the CET exam are relative velocity. So, we will also take up in this particular episode a couple of problems based on relative velocity. But let me again share a couple of things with you people about relative velocity. How to write relative velocity, what is the meaning of that and, and, and all that. Like say there are two particles A and B 
a is moving with a velocity v a and b is moving with a velocity v b see both are independent they can have any velocity and they can move in any direction that they want you can write either velocity of a with respect to b or b with respect to a how to really mathematically write velocity of a with respect to b is v a minus v b but what most of the students do not understand here is that's a vector difference though i say v a minus v b don't forget that velocities are vector quantities therefore when i say v a minus v b both are to be subtracted vectorially and similarly when the velocity of b with respect to a is written it is v b minus v a again to be subtracted vectorially of course this is the mathematical meaning of relative velocity of a with respect to b or b with respect to a one additional thing that i want you people to also remember is when you say with respect to b you have made b as the observer the frame of reference has been attached to b and b has come to rest in that particular frame of reference fine so velocity of a with respect to b is va minus vb b is the observer and b has come to rest now let us use this and try to see how we can solve this simple problem let me read it first for you people a train is moving at 2 meters per second a passenger in it starts walking also at 2 meters per second but opposite to it find his speed as observed by a person on the ground so he says that a train is already moving with 2 meters per second you can take that particular direction to be positive the direction in which the train is moving is positive a passenger simply gets up from his seat and starts walking also at 2 meters per second but in the direction opposite to the train he says you can consider that speed to be minus 2 meters per second that's not an issue but what you should realize is that man is walking in the train so his velocity of 2 meters per second has been given with respect to the train and not with respect to ground so now he naturally wants the speed of that passenger to be found with respect to ground so let me call a here as train and b as the passenger standing on the ground so let me write the velocity of that passenger with respect to ground velocity of the passenger with respect to the train is velocity of the passenger minus velocity of the train i hope you agree with this so velocity of the passenger is passenger with respect to train minus sorry plus velocity of the train see here this is the velocity of the passenger with respect to ground you can call it to be the absolute velocity and this is the velocity of the passenger with respect to the train and this is the velocity of the train which is again with respect to ground train is moving on the ground do not forget that so this speed of 2 meters per second is naturally with respect to ground okay so velocity of the passenger with respect to the person who is standing on the ground is velocity of the passenger with respect to the train which i would love to take it as minus 2 what is the reason because the passenger is walking at 2 meters per second in the opposite direction to that of the train so i have taken it as minus plus velocity of the train is also 2 but we will take it as positive so minus 2 plus 2 happens to be 0 so what is the absolute velocity of the passenger as seen by a person standing on the ground it is 0 and that makes b option perfectly correct so this is the option there